She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Thanks so much for joining us today. Are you stuck? Do you need to be unstuck, friend? <laughs> There's a lot of stuck people out there. There really is. And what I love about you and I meeting every single day, and if you're a binge watcher, maybe you've been watching for hours every day, um, we get to tackle these kind of things that make you go, hmm, am I stuck? Hmm, what does stuck look like? Have you ever been stuck? I have. <laughs> and it's a really painful thing. Like you get stuck in your head, right? You might be stuck in your head. Your finances might be stuck. You might be stuck in a career that you don't want to be in. You might be stuck in a relationship that is not the kind of relationship that you want to be in. You might be married and your marriage seems to be stuck, kind of like on repeat and repeat, repeat and repeat. Like it just keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. For certain personalities, being stuck is like the worst thing in the world. It really, really is. I want you to listen to this question from Lori. She says, how do I figure out what is holding me back? Well, how do you figure out what's holding you back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's holding you back. <laughs> how do I know what's holding you back? It's a question you have to ask yourself. What is holding me back? You really can't ask anybody that. But if you feel like there's something holding you back, sit down for a minute and ask yourself the question, what is holding me back? You see, if you are stuck, you feel like something is actually holding you back. So what's the something? Is it your kids that are holding you back? Is it your husband that's holding you back? Is it your wife that's holding you back? Is it your health that's holding you back? Is it your career that's holding you back? Is it your debt that is holding you back? Is it your lack of education that is holding you back? What about your physical body, like your physical limitations? Is that what is holding you back? You're the only one that can define what is holding you back. You're the only one also that can define what is keeping you stuck? So you have to identify what's your stuck. What, what is that thing that you keep hitting your head up against? I can tell you this, most people are stuck because of fear and excuses. That in my experience from my own personal life and in working with tens of thousands of people from all over the world for the last three decades, I can't even believe I can say that. My gosh. Okay. I can't even believe I can say I have five kids and eight grandkids. Like that just wow, totally blows my mind. But what I have found in working with a lot of people is that it's often fear is the root of being stuck. It's afraid to take a move in the right direction. You're afraid to make a mistake. You're afraid to make a decision. You're afraid of making the wrong decision. You're afraid that whatever you're hoping for in that decision is not going to turn out the way that you want it to. Sometimes people can get stuck with the fear of the unknown, the fear of what the future might bring. And so when we get stuck, we be, we, when we get stuck, yeah, when we get stuck, we have a tendency of isolating ourselves. We pull ourselves back and we end up just sitting tight, not sitting and waiting on God, but we just kind of sit tight on, I mean by tight, gripping tightly to what we know from our past. What do I mean? When you're gripping tightly to your past, whether it's something good or it's something bad, that's what makes us stuck. And here's how. Well, if I'm holding on to something from my past that was bad that happened in a relationship, let's say I had a bad relationship with somebody in the past. And if I'm holding on to that bad relationship, I'm holding on to the pain. I'm holding on to the to the um the the torment of it or the hurt feelings of it. I'm I'm holding on to the resentment that I have towards that person. I'm holding on to that bitterness that is just boiling up inside of my belly. 
So when I'm holding on to that failed relationship, I am stuck to it. I'm kind of yoked to it, like an ox is yoked to another ox. Have you ever seen a yoke, by the way? It's this huge wooden thing or even metal thing that, that has a hole, two holes in it for someone's for these two animals' heads. And wherever the lead animal goes, the other one is going to follow. So when you are yoked to something in your past, again, you, you, you're yoked to the pain, you're yoked to the disappointment, you're yoked to the discouragement, to the, the feelings of maybe despair or whatever your feelings are about it, okay? If you're holding on to some bad relationship from your past, then you are stuck right there. How do you break free from that? You have to let go. You literally have to let go. That is the only way to be free from it. You have to take the yoke off of you and the past. And you need the past to rest where it is. You need to just release it completely. And I mean fully release it to where you are able to just say, you know what? I'm letting go of this. I'm going to forgive that person. I'm going to forgive that situation. That person owes me nothing. Because look what happens when you're holding on to this then it's keeping you back there and stopping you from moving ahead. So if you're feeling stuck inside of your life, there's there's something that you're stuck, your finances are stuck, your business, your career, your relationships, your marriage, something with your kids, your health, okay, your fit, your fitness. Again, like I said, like what's holding me back? Well, ask yourself the questions. Are is this is this what I think is holding me back? And then I promise you, you're holding on to something in that category. Whatever you're holding on to is keeping you stuck right there. The only way to move forward is to release it, to let go. You have to let go in order to move forward. So fear is largely the root of being stuck. Holding on to something from the past is the root of being stuck. When we continue, we're going to get to another layer because you gotta move ahead, friend. You can't stay in the position that you're at, hoping for something better, but not willing to let go of what is behind. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after you check this out. Financing a home can be a nightmare if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Ask me. I know this. That's why the first thing you have to do is find a mortgage company you can trust that has your back through the entire process. Whether you're buying your first home, upgrading your current one, or looking for an investment property, Rick Fujisaki at Wintrust Mortgage wants to win your trust. Rick understands the mortgage industry, and he can take all the stress out of financing a home for you. His easy-to-use worksheets will help you calculate the mortgage you can afford, and he has a unique tool designed to help you find and set aside money for your down payment. And when you work with Rick, who, by the way, I love, a portion goes to caring for the poor through King's Ransom Foundation. So visit LoanMortgageGuys.com and start building your dream today. Again, contact Rick at LoanMortgageGuys.com. Have you ever wondered if your investments are making enough money for retirement? What if you could buy an investment rental property for as little as $35,000 that rents for at least $550 a month? After Aaron and Drew Hudson asked themselves this question, Hudson Real Estate Investments was formed, and now 200 transactions have been conducted. Their system helps individuals buy and hold real estate. Their definition of a great buy and hold is a property that pays you a monthly positive cash flow from day one. Hudson Real Estate Investments has a team who find properties available for immediate purchase, vet tenants, and have qualified property management in place. So if you're looking to have freedom and live your life on your own terms, grab your phone and text the word FUTURE to 484848. Get started today. Text the word FUTURE to 484848. Secure your future now. Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? 
It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the dannyjohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. Do you procrastinate? Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. We're talking about getting unstuck. If you've found yourself in that place where you are stuck, well, then some of the fruit of being stuck is procrastination. Listen to what Corey writes. Why do I procrastinate? There's always some huge fire that has to be put out before I can actually start working. I need help getting and staying motivated. Okay, Corey, listen up. Listen up. First of all, why do you procrastinate? I don't know. Who do you think I am? God? I have no clue why you procrastinate. I have no idea. You're the only one that can answer that question. But what I know for myself, the times where I've procrastinated at things, what I've noticed about that I've seen in working with tens of thousands of other people who have also struggled with procrastination is this. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Because the root of procrastination is fear. And hello, being afraid causes you to get stuck. And what is procrastination? You're stuck. (laughs) That's what it is. You're like stuck in cement and you're just not moving ahead. Okay, so the only way to kill fear is to take action. So oftentimes we think too much. We're thinking far too much and all of our thinking gets in the way of our doing. If we stop thinking and we just start taking action, we start doing, then that's what kills procrastination. That also is what kills fear is just simply taking action. We can stay in the what ifs category forever. But in this case of you saying that there always seems to be some huge fire, this is an issue of what? Are you afraid of failing? Are you afraid that your efforts in working are not going to result in what you really want? Is the real issue that you don't believe that you can actually succeed? Is that the real issue? Because the business that you're talking about, um, that you say that, oh, there's always these fires that have to, you know, that get in the way before I actually get busy and actually do something. Okay, no, it's that you must be, perhaps, ask yourself the question, am I afraid of failing? Am I afraid of not succeeding? Am I afraid that I'm going to waste my time? Am I afraid that I don't have what it takes to be able to make it in my business venture? Answer those questions and you might find the reason why you allow stupid little fires that you know they're just little fires that need to put out. Because here's the bottom line. If you were really committed to your career in business as an entrepreneur, If you were really committed, guess what would happen? Nothing would get in your way. Absolutely nothing. You would have your hours set. You would have your tasks that need to get done. You would perform those tasks with a great attitude, the same exact thing that you would expect any employee to do if you were hiring people. The same thing you would expect that if you were building a sales organization, you would expect for them to show up to work on time. You would expect for them to perform the tasks that need to be done. You would expect for them to be able to do it with the right kind of attitude. And if they're not going to do it with the right kind of attitude, they're fired. They're out. They're done. And if it is an independent sales organization, guess what? They're going to fire themselves because just hanging out doesn't make anybody any money. So, so the facts are is that, okay, so let's look at, look at, let's look at like a traditional retail store. Can that retail store owner just like, oh, you know, I had some fires up out. Sorry, I wasn't here at 10 a.m. to open the doors. (laughs) No, that is not an option, right? So when someone is committed, they have their schedule, they have their task, they perform them with a great attitude. Really simple. Really, really simple. But when you're in business for yourself and it's just you and you're afraid and you are not committed and you don't think it's going to work for you, well, then you allow other things to get in the way. So really what this is, is a lack of commitment. 
It's a lack of commitment. So are you going to step up, rise up, and do something great with your life? Or are you going to be like 98% of the population who is uncommitted and whining and crying about it? And then they go to the doctor to get some drugs to help them feel better, not even realizing that if they actually took action, if they actually let go from the things of their past, they would unstuck themselves, move themselves ahead little by little. It doesn't have to be big, huge steps. It's just one one little activity at a time. The same activity maybe day after day after day. Following through with your commitment level, right? So so if we're, let, in fact, let, let, let me just break it down and, and break it down to weight loss or, or taking better care of yourself. Let's just make it as simple as that. Where does it start? It starts with what I choose to put in my mouth for breakfast. It chooses what, what I choose to put in my mouth for lunch, what I choose to put in my mouth for dinner, what I choose not to put in my mouth after dinner, <laughs> what I choose not to put in my mouth for the snack. Do you understand what I'm saying? That, so it's it's a daily, it's, a, it's an hour by hour choosing that is going to produce the result that I'm after. So it's the same for your business. So if you're thinking and you're reevaluating to consider and, and you're, you're, you're allowing your, your, the doors then time to open up for you to waste time with fires to put out, okay, that's making the wrong choice. Do you understand? Choosing to put the fire out instead of choosing to build your business is making the wrong choice. And I'm talking about putting the fire out during your business hours. So get committed. Get committed. Establish what your schedule is. You know what the tasks are that need to be done in order to succeed. Now just go do them. Quit thinking about, again, can I do this? Am I good enough to do this? Is it going to work for me? All of those fears and all of your lack of confidence and self-esteem at that very moment in time, because our self-esteem goes through moments of highs and moments of lows, all of our self-esteem does that. Highs and lows. My goodness, if you're a woman, hello, <laughs> there's a certain time of the month where you feel on top of the world and there's a certain time of the month where you feel like a hag, okay? <laughs> so like I said, our self-esteem goes through highs and lows, sometimes all on the same day, friend. That happens, all right? So, so you know what the tasks are. You know what needs to get done. Attack. Unstuck yourself by walking away from the mindsets of your past Whatever it is that has totally dug in at your confidence to tell you you can't do it, you're never going to make it, you're never going to be good enough, that's all stuff from your past. All fears come from the past. There's no fears that are in the present. They're all tapes that have been programmed in your head from back there. Let go of that thing. That's the old you, the new you woke up this morning who's going to build something great, who's going to step up, rise up, and do something great with your life, bottom line. And if you need a little bit of extra help and motivation... There's no excuse. This is free. Okay? So if you go to the website, dannyjohnson.com, it's a free book. It's exactly how I built a business from the trunk of my car in a payphone booth. It's exactly how I went from homeless to a millionaire inside of two years. Step by step by step, the action items you should be taking. So get a hold of it. Go to the website, dannyjohnson.com right now and unstuck yourself. We'll continue with more after this. Do you have a closet full of clothes yet say I have nothing to wear? Are you a mom doing her best but desperately lacking me time? Or maybe your schedule has you dressing practically instead of powerfully. What if I told you there's a system, a blueprint that can save you time, money, and turn every head in the room, as well as impact the world through fashion? Friend, you're in the fashion business whether you like it or not. You're an ambassador representing your faith, your marriage, family, and business. Style is just a skill. A skill made easy with 123 Style Me. 10 steps to style success that will expand your leadership, save you hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars. This program will bring you peace of mind, reignite your marriage, make you more productive, respected, and instantly boost your confidence, equipping you to be bold and beautiful. Go to courses lindapage.com. Again, that is courses.linda, L-I-N-D-A-P-A-I-G-E.com and make a priceless investment in yourself. Are you confident that you're always getting a good deal? Have you been equipped with the negotiation confidence strategies, tactics, and supporting tools you need to close world-class deals? Finally, JPA is making the exact same specialized negotiation training and secrets used by the world's largest, most successful corporations available to everyone. Proven in more than 60 countries and used by brands like Adidas, Vodafone, Pfizer, Nokia, and others, the JPA negotiation method will set you up 
to save money and time while significantly increasing your profits. It doesn't matter if you're buying or selling real estate, closing contracts with suppliers, or selling products and services to individuals or organization. Using their simple step-by-step negotiation preparation checklist, you'll be ready to confidently slug it out toe-to-toe with the toughest professional negotiators. It's time for you to stop leaving money an opportunity on the table. Go to bizneg.com forward slash events to register now. Again, that's B-I-Z-N-E-G.com forward slash events. Get registered today. Prior to getting started with dannyjohnson.com and first steps to success, Uh, We were spending absolutely every dime that we made. We were really struggling financially. Since plugging in to First Steps to Success just four months ago, we started a brand new business that is doing very, very well. Um, We've paid off $4,500 in debt, but the most important thing is my relationship with my husband has improved. dramatically. I mean, we have so much more fun together. You know, I don't know about you, maybe your finances, you're doing great. Maybe you're debt free. Maybe maybe your relationships with your spouse, with your family are, are great. But if not, if you have some areas in your life that feel a little out of control or there's things that you need to work on, I highly recommend getting to First Steps to Success as soon as you can. Prior to being dragged out to First Steps to Success, I was hopeless. I had no point to life. It was a day-to-day existence, working a job I despised for people I didn't respect. Deeper and deeper debt every year. You just couldn't get on top of it. I just had no hopes or dreams, none at all, and there was no point to life. But since coming out, um, we paid off $280,000 worth of debt, married the woman of my dreams. Uh, I came to love my job and the people I work for. Uh, I have all kinds of hopes and dreams. I get to watch them happen every day. I don't know what your life is like, you know? There's probably tons of hope. You probably know why you live and you got places you're going, but if you don't, you need to sign up for First Steps of Success. You go to dannyjohnson.com and you click Click on it and be here because your life will not be the same if you do. Prior to First Steps to Success, I was drowning in debt, I was terrified of my bills, and I wanted to travel but I never had the money. And since coming to First Steps to Success in the last 14 months, I've paid off over $18,000 in debt. I've gone on six vacations and I'm not terrified of my bills anymore. So if you want to learn some proven strategies to really learn how to connect with people, take your life to the next level, all while having a total blast you need to get registered for the next First Steps to Success today. Prior to coming to First Step to Success, we were totally struggling, totally uh, under the weight of $640,000 worth of debt, um, making $20,000 a month but living paycheck to paycheck. So when we came here and I realized that it takes a totally different skill set to keep money, uh, to create wealth than it is to make money, uh, I have totally turned around our lifestyle Um, We have paid off uh, $640,000 worth of debt in two years. We are debt free as of June of 2013. Uh, I don't know where you are at. Um, You might have all your finances in order. Uh, You might have a wonderful life. Uh, Your marriage might be all perfect and your kids are behaving. But if not, if one of those things is lacking, you gotta get here. Uh, Book your next event. Uh, You need to be here. You will not regret it. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Are you a perfectionist? Ugh. (sighs) Friend, I gotta tell you, this is something that, I don't know what's wrong. Like, it it, it isn't something that I, like, when I was younger, at least I don't think I did, but boy, uh, yeah, perfectionism. That's a great way to stay stuck. Today on the Danny Johnson Show, we're talking about getting unstuck. 
So perfectionism is one of those things that gets us stuck. Where does that come from? Where does this perfectionism come from? Now, I know that there's some personalities that we have more of a bend towards order, schedules, and routines, facts and figures. There is no gray area. It's black or white. Okay, I, I get that. There is a certain personality that bends in that direction. And so, therefore, we also bend in the direction of things need to be perfect. We have to have all the information first before we ever make a decision. <sighs> And I don't know if it's that the older some of us get, the more we get like that. <sighs> if that's you, you're stuck. And I'm looking in the mirror right now. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, so listen. Where does perfectionism come from? Like I said, some, some of us have a bend in that direction anyway, just because of the way we were wired. We were knitted together in our mother's womb. Our personality is of that order, routine, schedule. Okay. But when we take it to a whole nother level of perfection, everything's got to be perfect. This is when you're stuck in research. This is when you're stuck in thinking to contemplate, to reevaluate, to consider, to talk to your mom, dad, and the parakeet before you ever move forward. And by the time you move, the opportunity is gone. It's over. It left. The ship sailed without you and me and me. So how do we get unstuck from perfectionism? Because honestly, perfectionism largely, oh boy, I can't even believe this is going to fly out of my mouth. Oh my word. I don't think I've ever said this before, but it's something that just popped into me and I got to say it. Perfectionism is just a really nice, fancy way of saying procrastination in all reality. Yeah, I just heard a ooh. That's really what it is. It's actually a real arrogant, almost prideful way of saying procrastination. That's really what it is. It just sounds better, right? Procrastinator, what does that sound like? It sounds like what? Psh, loser, right? Right? Perfectionism? Oh, I just want things to be perfect. Yeah, it's the same disease. The root of it is still fear. That literally is the same motivation. Why do we want things to be perfect? Hmm. Answer the question. Why do we want it to be perfect? Because we don't want to make a mistake. That's why. Because we don't want to look stupid. Because as long as our duck's in a row, then we think it's going to go right. It increases our percentage shot of going right. And guess what? Studies have proven that it, that it doesn't. Studies literally have proven that sometimes the longer you wait, the more time you spend in research, the more information you gather, it actually, especially in investing, that it actually makes your results worse. Yes, it actually creates the adverse effect, the opposite result that you're actually looking for. So wait, Danny, I'm not tying the dots. I mean, how is perfectionism and procrastination the same thing? Just because you're busy in gathering all of your information, just because you're busy in all of your research, just because you're spending time thinking and contemplating and reevaluating to consider to make the decision, you're still procrastinating from making the decision. That's how. The root is the same. People who procrastinate, the fear is the reason why they do it. The reason why some of us spend too much time thinking, reevaluating, to consider gathering more information is because of fear. So it literally is the same exact thing. So do this. This is something I had to change for a long time. Because if perfection is your compass, whew, you're not going to accomplish much in life. People are not going to want to live around you. You're not going to move even at a normal human pace through life. But instead... You're going to be really slow. You're going to annoy a lot of people. You're going to, I've annoyed a lot of people with a lot of questions, right? We, yeah. I'm not saying don't think. I'm saying yes, think. However, there's a balance to it. So here is a motto that I had to adapt many, many oh gosh, like 18 years ago. And, and here, here's what it was. It's not about perfection. It's about getting the job done with results and test the results. I'm going to say that again. It's not about perfection. 
because perfection is not ever going to be achieved on earth as long as humans are here. And as long as you are a human, perfection is not going to be achieved. It's just not. But what we can do little by little is we can take an action, see what the result is of the action, and then we can fine tune it little by little. Not spend tons of time trying to get all the information first. No, no, no. We just take an action. And when you take that action, you're going to produce some kind of result, right? For every action, there is an equivalent reaction. So you see what the reaction is, and then you fine tune. And then you action again. And then fine tune, action again, fine tune, action again, fine tune. It's learn and then do. See what you did, then fine tune, do again fine-tuned. Do you understand? So if we're not taking action, we're stuck. We're stuck. And you were not put on this earth to be stuck. Life is moving with or without you and me. And if we're clinging to perfection, we are stuck. So friend, today we've been talking about that thing. How do I get unstuck? You got to let go. You got to let go, just like that movie. Let it go. I can't sing. You don't want me to sing. But you understand what I'm saying. Stop gripping so tightly to the fear of making a mistake. Stop gripping so tightly to the fear of getting hurt or losing a good reputation. Stop clinging so tightly to losing money. Let it go. There's a beautiful exhilaration that growth brings. That's where happiness is. That, what's the growth? The taking a step in the right direction or taking the step in any direction. Do something. Something is better than sitting around thinking about doing something. So take action. Kill the fear. Test the result. Fine tune. Test again and again. And you're going to get exactly where you want to go. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you have an awesome day.